everybody! Welcome back. I just want to see, did we get beaten by any of our friends on the daily challenge? I know I'm such a good friend, I gotta check though. Oh, it was kinda close, but uh, the most important thing is that Larson's at the bottom. I'm joking, Larson. We're gonna do a new run today, uh, as you might have expected. And we're gonna random for greed mode, and we're gonna play as Isaac, Maggie, Kane, Judas. The random is a little bit more unpredictable. I know we played Judas last run, but I wanted to do a greed mode run and see what we could get. Okay, there being a half heart back here is actually very valuable. Now that we have five cents, we'll probably want to pick up a key. PhD also good, raw liver great for greed mode in my opinion so far. Um, range up, pretty much worthless. Bob's brain is gonna be more harm than good, but I'm taking it anyway because I've paid for the fucking key. <laughs> and I feel like Kane could be extremely powerful in this mode. Due to, um, due to Book of Belial. It's gonna get a charge every wave. I don't think Book of Belial stacks, but, uh, the fact that you can use it for, you know, every single enemy seems, or every single wave of enemies seems huge, right? I hope I'm not just, like, outrageously mistaken there. Of course, we do have to be a little bit concerned about, you know, making sure that we don't, uh, accidentally kill ourselves with Bob's brain. It's gonna be, like, something that's extremely possible to happen. But I think our first item pickup is gonna be Raw Liver. The extra HP is worth it for whatever we want to use it for. If we use it for survivability, great. If we use it to uh, pay for a couple of awesome deals with the devil, great. But uh, for the most part, uh, it's it's just the fact that we need HP to live on this run. It's going to be the driving factor. We can pay for raw liver easily. And we're going to get enough money to probably buy one more consumable. If we get super lucky, Maybe we can get PhD. I bet we can play the blood bank and, and make uh, PhD happen ASAP. We also want to go to our curse room if it's at all swingable here, but uh, It may or may not be now, I don't think we'll get a full charge of Book of Belial before uh, Our next enemies which which haunt is this which bullshit haunt is this spider haunt or uh, Fucked up brimstone haunt. I hope it's spider haunt Easy kill. Okay, we got a famine that might drop some uh, spirit heart action when it dies. And there is our PhD bought and paid for right there. That might hit. It did hit! That was actually extremely useful. I was on the fence about whether or not that would work. No spirit heart, but definitely we want PhD. And the pill that it gives us tears up. Okay, I hear D20 is really good in greed mode as well, but I think we gotta stick with Book of Belial for now until I get a little bit more comfortable, maybe. Come on, don't make me, don't put me in a really tough position here. I don't really want Fire Mind. Uh, oh, what have I done? I figured maybe a luck up is something that is, you know, advisable for us in our future. I'm actually... N oh, I, I left before fighting the boss to get a deal with the devil. I am an idiot. I was like, we're done. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's not that bad, hopefully. Might have missed out on something good. Might get a deal with the angel on the next floor as a result. Could be great, could be terrible. I wonder if you're gonna just walk out and then do it again. Yes, we can. Okay, sweet. Staved off utter oblivion here. Hopefully that lands. It didn't. Are, are you telling me our greed fight is double gluttony? This is like a dream come true right now. We can shit on these enemies, no problem. If I can actually hit them with Bob's brain, it would be helpful. There's our deal with the devil. Sack dagger. I will take sacrificial dagger for the survivability. And then I think we'll play our blood bank pretty hard here. Oh, I don't regret this decision at all. Now, we, we're gonna lose our spirit heart, but that's okay. Too bad I didn't know about this before, but whatever. We're done, there goes our spirit heart. We checked our curse room. We got all the stuff we needed to get here. Sure, I think that that's a good first floor. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of our um, sack dagger here, but I'm, I'm thankful we had the chance to pick it up anyway. We got a couple of bombs here, which can be useful in other stages of greed mode, like getting those chests, for example. Uh, I feel like we're invested in getting chaos. I think chaos can be awesome for us in greed mode, and we're gonna we're gonna be able to get it no problem. This allows us to get deals with the devil without actually having to pay HP for them. And actually, I think Lucky Rock plus Bob's Brain could maybe be sweet for us as well. 
First things first. Um, well, maybe not first things first, but one thing's one. We're gonna have to get uh, a key as well to get into our item room if we consider that uh, a good value proposition, and I do. I haven't used Book of Belial on this stage yet. Fat bad Tomo Fly is gonna die. Uh, I'm not gonna sweat the HP loss too much to begin with here. But if we have the chance to not take HP in the future, not get hit in the future, that would probably be good for me. This should be an extremely easy situation. And we're already done with our first few waves. Alright, let's get Chaos first. And that should really throw a monkey wrench in our item pools here. Uh, I, I really don't want to take the D100 again. I've been taking the D100 non-stop. It's been showing up non-stop. We made really good use of it on our last run. The, the problem is that the D100, I actually think it's becoming evident that it's like actually too powerful. And people are going to be like, oh, it's never stopped. You've been taking Brimstone or Mom's Knife. But the D100 is like a 100% guaranteed win lately. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's kind of just like, it, it gets a little old hat, I guess, it's sometimes. Um, I really don't want to take this either, but I'm gonna. I don't know how, how it even works in this situation, like what happens if we teleport, but we'll take it nonetheless. This is our deal with the devil uh, option, so we actually, you know what? Our decision was pretty much made for us. I won't be able to, uh, I won't be able to take the D100. Thank God the button didn't have spikes on it at that exact moment. I won't have the money for it. It would be ideal if we could maybe hit some rocks with Bob's brain. But oh well, I think that's gonna do it right here, right here, right here, there we go. Let's see what our deal with the devil has to offer. Um, it's, it's unusual. We should take this, no question. That's, basically we got a free damage upgrade, even if it is minor. I think we should take this. Because it, it was also free, and then I think we stay away from our other options. Um, we'll buy another key so we can immediately go down to the next floor. I don't really care about bombing that for a spirit heart. So basically, we got free damage up, free ability to fly from our deal with the devil. And that's entirely because of uh, the weirdness of chaos there. So we got a lot of money. And you know what? We're probably not going to find a much better opportunity to, to drop that one in. So let's get all the money from that. Did I like what was in the uh, item of the shop on this floor? Doesn't really matter whether we get the one on this floor or next floor. Uh, I don't like it enough. Again, the D100, I think I'm, I'm played out on the D100. I gotta make like a rule. One D100 run, uh, every other run is okay. Hopefully we also get like a reroll situation here we can use. But this is where chaos will be interesting. Uh, attack fly is just okay. I have no idea what this even is. Empty vessel. Oh, so if you have no HP, it gives you the ability to fly. I think we sussed out. Now in here... Uh, it's hot trash. It's terrible. Okay. I should have tried to push that towards some rocks. Similarly, can't do anything here. Um, is it really that bad? Yeah, yeah, it is. This is terrible. Uh, I guess we'll save our money on this floor. And honestly, we kind of got shit on, but... We'll save our money on this floor. And try to like quadruple dip on the next floor. These guys die when they, or they they die when they explode, like many people do. Um, no, but they explode when they die, so we want to stay away from them. Still, like a couple of spiders left, I guess, from that wave. Take care of them slowly but surely here. There we go. Back on top. That was extremely stupid of me. Oh, there's only four of these guys. I thought there would have been eight. Not that I'm trying to say, oh, it's, I mean, they've made it too easy on us now. I'm just just saying. Okay, terrible damage. Well, on the bright side, we could buy a key on this one. We might not find anything else that really tickles our fancy, but it, you know, there's always going to be a need for one key per floor. It's basically a five cent item you don't get the choice to, to choose from. And if we don't get to spend our money, at least if we are able to uh, defeat Ultra Greed, we'll have maybe more money to donate. Kate was rubbing it in my face that she had 70 cents in her donation machine, her greed donation machine already. I don't know how she did it. She had like one awesome run that worked out fantastically for her. Uh, I don't think I have to use Book of Belial here because I already used it without leaving the room. So we'll just wait until maybe our uh, our next wave, like the, the uh, deal with the devil wave, just to hedge our bets a little bit. HP is fine. I wish we hadn't lost so many spirit hearts, but 
I, I tend to think that that doesn't matter as much when you can guarantee yourself a deal with the devil anyway. Lots of money. All right, here we go. Again, I don't know if that actually works for us, but man, a deal with the devil to be guaranteed for fighting famine and pestilence. What? No! Okay, so Cursed Eye can, like, super fuck us. Man, that's gonna be terrible on the Ultra Greed fight. Should have taken the D100. A chorus of people chant simultaneously before getting sick of the item in two months. I gotta think on that time scale, man. I'm gonna be playing this game for quite some time. Crampo fight doesn't bother me. I do wish we had a reroll so that we weren't just stuck with whatever he gives us, but we'll take it. At least it's a damage upgrade. And I'll just check back here. I don't think we really want anything, but if we can you know, buy a three cent key, sure, why not? And was there, there's no bombs for sale? We can get bombs around the head, but I think our money is better spent on the next floor. Oh, you almost got me, guys. Okay, so 42 cents. Hoping for good items. Chaos has the chance to give us some really good stuff. Doesn't have to, but it could. Halo, love it. Lard, okay with it. Happy to have the HP at least. And then, on our shop, Book of Revelations, HP, and a reroll machine. I think we want the HP. Then it becomes Gimpy. I think we want Gimpy. Do we want Mom's Key? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't believe so, at least. Let's fight some enemies, and then we'll get we'll get sorted here. I do think that that's good. We picked up a lot of HP there. We do need a means of which to fill it. I know, I'll stop with the dirty talk, but... We're, uh... Well, I guess, actually, we have a means to fill it because we bought Gimpy, and Gimpy will give us a chance to get half red heart payouts from every enemy we kill. Not a great chance, mind you, but a chance nonetheless. As a result, we should be pretty much fine here, for the near future at least. Got enough money to buy probably two more items from our our shop on this floor. Whether or not we want a key, I don't know. It depends what items show up. Right now I'm not thrilled with the items, but there is a reroll machine in there as well, so. If we want them, come and claim them, right? So our seventh wave. So like the next wave is our is our last wave until the, you know, the boss waves, I think. This is a big one. I know I said I'd stop with the dirty talk, but uh lots of easy enemies can mean a good situation to replenish our red hearts, but not that time. I think we donate and try to reroll. Man, this is like super not good enough. Although, I think probably we might want to take lifesteal instead of lucky rock at this point. It's not like we're rolling in bombs or anything. Uh, compass is useless. Squeeze, or not squeezy, rosary is mostly useless, I think. Uh, there's no bombs for us to get, so I think we donate here again. I'm just going to lose the spirit hearts. We're much better off. I mean, it's kind of a tough call, right? Holy Mantle's not that good in kind of an endless mode like this, I think. So I, I re-rolled it. I definitely do not want nine lives. Um, or the tick, for that matter. I think Celtic Cross is a really good pickup for us, though. It's interesting, and, and that's the kind of the enduring things. I, I say enduring as if it's not like three days into the game's release. But one of the kind of like enduring things about um, greed mode so far is how it changes, you know, what items are actually valuable and, and what their value is. Like... I really feel like the, the greed mode has flipped my perception of how some of these items work. Like, Holy Mantle is awesome unless you, you know, lose your invincibility and then it's gone immediately. But now that I think about it, maybe Holy Mantle actually gets its invincibility back every single time uh, enemies die. Like, any time a wave dies. If that's the case, we should have gone with it for sure. But I, you know, it's possible I, I built my, uh, my house on a bad foundation here. But, you know, mistakes like that are going to happen as we get used to... A new mode here. And we're kind of like, I, I wouldn't say on the skin of our teeth here, but it, we're not necessarily in like a super powerful run right now or anything like that, so. It's a bit of, it's a, bit of a crapshoot. I mean, nine cents. What are we going to do with nine cents? Thank you, Gimpy. And you know what? I mean, maybe I shouldn't be too mad. The, the, I, I don't even know if that's how Holy Mantle works for the uh, with the greed mode for the first of it. But also, um, I'm still pretty stoked about the fact that we uh, got Celtic Cross. 
You know, it's like we missed out on Connor McDavid, but we got Jack Eichel. So that's that's still pretty good. We can still build a run about around uh, Jack Eichel here. It's a hockey, it's a hockey, not even joke. It's like a situation that actually happened. Not to me though, but to fans of the Buffalo Sabres organization the worldwide. One of these days we're gonna land this Bob's brain shot, and it's gonna be a fucking reckoning, man. Hmm, interesting. I don't think we have any guppy items. I want this, and I do want the Luckfoot. Even though it's expensive from an HP standpoint, I want it because it gives us the uh, better gimpy chance, I think, at least. And then we're just gonna go. And pretty soon we should start saving our money to, to donate to the uh, greed donation machine if we have a chance at winning, which I think we genuinely might. Still got a little bit of time left before that becomes relevant, though. Champion belt is pretty huge. Experimental treatment I may not take on this run. Oh, that's an interesting place. Maybe get a key out of it. We don't want to teleport. Oh my god, so many times in a row. You know what, I'm gonna buy the key. I regret nothing. That's not true. I regret losing three cents in that transaction. Uh, do I want any of these? I might want to buy Jesus Juice. But I might want to save my rerolls for things that are a little bit more prodigious, you know? Which is my way of saying that's not particularly good. I mean, Jesus Juice is fine, but it might not be worth us spending our money if we could get something that helps us survive instead. That was bad damage, but it's okay. This is what our invincibility is for, and this is what our, um... This is what our, um... Luck upgrade is for as well, is... The opportunity to get extra gimpy shit from when we get hit. Honestly, as of right now, it's been a little disappointing. We haven't really given Isaac's fork the chance to, to save or squander itself. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out for us. I've kind of gone, you know, we're back to vanilla standpoint where I'm like, life steal is actually like really possibly important, I think, maybe, I don't know. I gotta say though, chaos, those deals with the devil for free, basically, for free in terms of an HP standpoint, were really clutch. But apart from that, we haven't gotten too much zany stuff from Chaos. I think we'll go hard on this, try to win this run. Uh, Trinity Shield seems incredibly powerful. If we can get it, I think that Guppy's Paw could be very useful for us as well. And we should be able to afford it. Um, but yeah, Guppy's Paw to give us Spirit Hearts, but we're not gonna have permanent Polaroid invincibility. And then it's gonna make Isaac's Heart worthless. But it might make Gimpy a little better? I don't know, what is this? Hierophant, also good. Save that for uh, when we make the decision. Well, you know what? The problem with Guppy's Paw is that if we take it now, oh, fuck, let's try it. We got more HP out of it. The problem with Guppy's Paw, though, is if we take it, I just stopped the, the bleeding there, I guess. Um, if we take Guppy's Paw, if I could finish my train of thought here for once. We will lose Book of Belial for that future floor because we can't take two spacebar items with us, so. I don't know what I would do about that. Losing the huge damage bonus to have a little bit more HP seems suboptimal. That's what I'm looking for right there, actually, was the ability to just kill this guy before the next boss spawned. And we're just gonna try to take out the next boss. It's just death. Shouldn't be too bad. Open for some clutch explosions, but not on me. Rather on the enemy. Yo, um, my dog. Isaac's fork. Where's my lifesteal, buddy? I don't have five fucking minutes. Isaac's fork, where's my lifesteal? I feel like experimental treatment has hampered my damage somewhat, but I can tap shoot a lot faster than I have been shooting. So maybe I've been handicapping myself a little bit there when I should not be. Uh, okay, my theory is, as usual, fuck it. Obviously a lot of those were wasted. We're not gonna get permanent Polaroid invincibility. But this at least does give us more HP and we've only got like two floors left. Why do I have invincibility on this room? I don't think it's gonna last forever. But I do have invincibility right now. I got Celtic Cross invincibility for pressing the button. <laughs> it's 
somewhat. There is some irony there, let's put it that way. I could pay three spirit arts for an old bandage and then trade it in with Gubby's Paw for three more spirit hearts. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. So we're almost done here. I guess now is where we start stacking up money to donate if we can. I'm a little skeptical that we're going to be able to beat Greed, but um, we're going to give it the old college try here. The shop is our second to last floor. We may have a chance to get something done here. Infamy for free is okay. I don't even want anything here. Is there a reroll machine? There is. Let's see. Let's reroll first and see if we actually want anything here. Well, we don't have the money for it yet. We could play that Demon Judgment is kind of what I'm getting at. Terrible damage. Where did this attack flag come from? Well, we got it from our item room on the last floor. Is that correct? There's a greed around here somewhere. We got four seconds to kill Super Greed. I don't love our odds there. Yeah, we barely wounded him. Of course, if we hit him with a single Bob's brain, he's gonna be fucked forever, but... Help. Uh, we've, again, we're getting random invincibility. It's like Celtic Cross just gives us invincibility when some waves die. And honestly, or when some waves spawn. Honestly, that's why I'm not confident about shit like what a Holy Mantle does on greed mode. Because there's weird interactions like that. I don't know if we've used Book of Blau for this wave. To be safe, I'm not going to use it, because clearly we are still strong enough to, you know, hit these enemies and kill them in relative quickness, so... That worked out somehow. This is our last wave before bosses anyway. We got 16 cents. That's not a ton! I'll level with you. That's not where I want to be. It's just random invincibility, man. This is awesome. Maybe it's a transformation I'm not aware of. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna donate first, see if there's anything we actually want. They just moved position there. Placebo. Um, I don't think we want anything here. With that in mind, I think that's basically gonna be all the money we spend on this run. We'll save the rest of the money so we have something to donate to Greed if we're lucky enough to actually beat the game. Which, at this point, I'd give us probably a below 50% average uh, chance to do. Which is not that bad, honestly. It's obviously not that good either, but uh, it, it could be worse. I definitely stepped on the button. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. That is a thing that happened. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I think that oftentimes I do also find myself getting surprised on the, on the Ultra Greed fight. And I, like, do really well, and I'm like, oh, okay. That was a thing that happened. Obviously, we're going to try to get our deal with the devil as well. Uh, I thought it was going to be six blighted ovums and a, and a partridge in a pear tree. Really, really good invincibility there. I appreciate that a great deal. And our deal with the devil is free. Let's focus on the positives. The negative is that it's not anything at all. The positive, I guess, is that it's free. It's our last chance. We really not want any of this? Uh, let's put it this way. I don't want it enough to mean that if I win, I donate nothing. I don't know if there's progress on the greed machine, like what, we're, what we can actually unlock from it, but we might as well try to get a, a little bit on it. I believe it's been debunked that uh, the damage you do to Monstro like dictates the health that Ultra Greed has. But I'm going to try to play it straight anyway. I'm going to kill Monstro as fast as I can. We have Curse of the Unknown, which scares the shit out of me. Every time we get invincibility, like I'm stoked that we have Book of Belial, but every time we get invincibility, so I gotta be watching myself very closely, we're gonna jump in there, just like this. Do as much damage as possible. That time I wanted to get in there and hit those uh, hearts as well, and I think we did an okay job, but it could be better. Keep watching yourself, we're watching for invincibility. Keys are bad. Get those cracked if you can. We got all of them cracked. Okay, I think that's a good thing to focus on instead of just getting his HP down. Now we don't have to deal with these bullshit enemies. Uh, just bombs is is a problem. But we got most of them taken care of and we didn't get hit by any of the other ones. Good opportunity there. Again, we can sneak in here and get half of those done. Okay, we have invincibility again. Did they nerf Ultra Greed's health or am I just, uh, am I having a surprisingly good run here? Because this feels like it's going pretty well. And I mean, it looks like it's going pretty well. Might as well pop the Hierophant. We'll take one, and next time we get hit, we'll take the other, just in case we're at like a half-heart interval of some sort. 
Keep watching for invincibility. These are keys. We do want to crush these. Good. We got invincibility. Get in there. That was not what I wanted there, but at least we didn't run into too much trouble. It's more keys. This is a problem. I haven't really been firing because I don't want to teleport out of this room. I think that's advisable. Oh, there we go. Does he not take damage in that state? No, he's still, he's still taking hits. I think we got enough HP to tank this dude. Mostly just waiting for Bob's brain to come back and making sure that I don't teleport in the process. Land that. Get in there when he does attacks. Try to take out the Riff Raff with Sack Dagger. The Sack Dagger pickup is actually like extraordinarily useful. We are going to win. We should try to take out the hearts if we can. He's gonna gain a decent amount of HP back from that, but we've killed him. Now we only have a little bit of money left because every time I got hit, he took some away, but hey, on the bright side. There you go. I can't see what our greed machine's at, but at least we got it done. That one was a little scary. Ooh, no problem. Thanks for watching. We unlocked my shadow. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.